Brisbane? Um, just the opportunity, you know. Um, the opportunity mainly gave me to come down here and um, yeah, be part of that top four front row. You know, um, I couldn't go past that. I didn't really want to leave the Bronx. It took me a good eight weeks to make my decision. But um, yeah, you know, I've been with the Broncos for eight years and uh, it was pretty emotional for me to leave, but it's a decision I had to make. What did you learn up there under guys like um, you know, Sidney Saver and Hannon? Oh man, yeah, I learned a lot from them, mate. Um, Benny Hannon, Petro, and Sammy and uh, Corey Park, you know, just the workload they put in every week and, and the extras that you don't see them do outside of training. Now, yeah, all those little things. There's a big chance here, um, you know, with a couple of front rowers having left to, to make your mark. Um, yeah, yeah, every, everyone's got their chance here, but um, I'll be I'll be pushing extra hard for that. Um, you know, like I said, it took me a long time to make up my mind whether to come down here or not. So, yeah, yeah, I'll be pushing hard for that reason. What have you found different at the at the Eagles so far um, compared to the Broncos? Oh uh, yeah, there's not much change down here. Um, all the boys are pretty much the same as the boys up um, up in Brisbane, but um, the training down here I think goes a little bit longer. It's um, the workload's constant throughout the day, and I reckon that's pretty good for me. Um, I've had a lot of um, injuries with my knees and, and ankles and things like that, and um, I reckon this this type of training is good for me. So how many how many injuries have you had over the last couple of years? Oh, I've had in the past season. I did my MCL twice, yeah. two knee problems, and um, I've had a lot of uh, hip and groin problems. But um, yeah, the, the, like the work here. It's, real constant throughout the day and yeah for me I find it's a lot better for me